Welcome in. All right, so super short. So how to enter Greek symbols into decimals. Now, why you may want to be able to do this because there's sometimes constants, right? So sometimes you might wanna use delta or epsilon, show your students or show others, etc. Alpha, beta, okay? And you have all of these wonderful Greek symbols if you're familiar with latex. You don't have to be, by the way. Um, so here they are, you know, so this is how you would write it out. I'm going to include uh, this little dot document, so I'll put it up in the description. It'll be free. You can just download it. It'll be off of my Google Drive, and I'll just share it with anyone who wants these. And you can use any of these that you like. Okay, so if you go into decimals and you load it up and you want to be able to use this. Now, for example, if you use pi, pi is there, all right? It's already a predefined constant, and there are others that are predefined. Now, uh, for example, if you want to use alpha and you write alpha in, it will actually convert it to alpha, all right? Now, if you wanna use beta, okay, it, it works. But let's say if we wanna use epsilon, ooh, it doesn't convert it back, all right? So, you know, what happens? What if you, you know, use, for example, the backslash and then write epsilon like this? Again, it doesn't work. What if you wanted to use, okay, so delta? Mm, doesn't work, right? So it just predefines all of these, which are basically just D, you know, E, L, T, etc. So that's not what we want. Okay, so how do I remedy this? In order to remedy this, so some of them, like alpha, beta, and you can test which ones um, will work in decimals or not. If you want to know the spelling of them, etc., you know, you can use the document right there. You don't have to use the backslash for alpha and betas. However, if you want delta and epsilon and so on, so for example, within here, you actually have to copy it from a document that you have. So some document on the side, so I'm gonna copy this, I'm using the shorthands in my keyboard, and then I just paste it in. So if I paste it, now it recognizes it. And now you can define this however way you like. Same thing with delta, right? So if delta doesn't work, right? Okay, so within here, now you can go back in and you can take these, all right? So here's delta, I'm gonna just copy delta within here. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, so copy, paste it back in, and there you go, here's delta, and again, you can define it how you like. So there you have it. You can now use any of them, you can play around, all right, which one decimals recognizes, which ones don't, um, you know, Epsilon and deltas, which I like to use sometimes in simulations just to have them to show students and any learners. Okay, so those are super useful. And you can go back, you know, to this table and then copy whatever it is that you want to use uh, throughout. So if it's omega, psi, etc., etc. All right. Now, just a note, um, you know, I kind of scanned out through the web to try to figure out and in various chats and etc. People were trying to figure this out as well. So, you know, I thought to share this with anyone. Um, it is something that I've learned also from others. So hopefully this helps somebody if you wanna be able to use decimals and the Greek symbols so that you're not just stuck to the regular alphabet or predefining with subscripts, etc. All right, okay, so I hope this helps. You can give it a, a like, you know, subscribe. It definitely helps the channel, okay, and gets promoted. Hopefully one day we'll get to that one million um, of helping learners in the world. Okay, bye everybody.